everyone so there are currently 34 days until we get married which makes me very very stressed but also really excited and i've been asked so many times are you going to do another wedding update or a wedding haul and i thought i might as well do a couple more before the big day because i have got so much stuff to show you um i don't know if i'm going to do it into two parts because there is so much stuff and i don't want this video to be extremely long the cat is in the background as well and rummaging through stuff really annoyingly so if i shout at her I apologise, or you might see her run behind me. Um, but yeah, she's been really, really weird today. This is a massive wedding haul. Some of it is from eBay. Some of it is from different sellers and companies. So I will leave all links down below, as always, if you are interested in buying any of this. Um, because I get so many comments saying, where did you get this from? It's Tilly. Um, so it's just easier to link everything down below. So, I'm going to just get on with it because I don't want this video to be extremely long. First thing, I'm going to show you. Some of it is for the honeymoon as well. If you would like to see any honeymoon, like, wedding updates, let me know because I would like to do a video all about our honeymoon. This travel wallet is from a company called Busy Bee and I've got loads of their stuff previously. I've also got one of their older versions of their travel wallet. What? travel wallet which i've used constantly i used it when i went to ireland as well but this is their newest version so first of all how pretty is this box i love the pattern it's kind of like navy with a floral pat pattern so it comes beautiful in like a little gift box um and then this is the travel wallet so it's this beautiful kind of mint green color with gold foil writing saying here comes the sun and it's a lot bigger than their old version of the travel wallet um, which I like because I tend to carry a lot of stuff around with me when I'm on holiday such as tickets to the car park, documents, boarding passes, passports, insurance stuff, car hire stuff, everything so this size is perfect for me so obviously you just unbutton it there and this is what the inside looks like so it's got that um pattern same as the box and then you've got space here for your passport so you can put i think it holds up to six passports um i could be wrong uh, it's got a little see-through bit here to put your like credit card or something into or your driving license and then you can just safely look after everyone's passports so because i'm going to America with not only me, Paul and Ellie, I'm going with my brother and dad. Um, they are not all so organised so I thought I'm probably the best one to look after all the important stuff. So it will hold as many passports in here and then I can put all the boarding passes and car hire stuff in this section here. So it's so handy, absolutely love that. I will leave a link down below if you are interested. But that is the logo there, Busy Bee. So absolutely love this, this is going to be so handy for travelling. And then also I got, I've just been rummaging through this because I had to do an email so I'm going to take all this out. Um, I also got the wedding expanding file and if you love wedding planning or wedding organising or just generally planning a wedding, you get so many emails, invoices, receipts, so many stuff when you are planning your wedding and I had nowhere to put all that stuff it was kind of just in my desk drawer all scattered about not very organized I couldn't find what I was looking for so this file here just basically holds all your important documents it does tie up at the top here so you can tie it up into a little bow um, and it's just kind of like this white print with a little detail here I don't know if you can see that um, and then the inside is expandable so you can put all your important documents I'm not going to put this too close to the camera but this is all wedding stuff and this is, what, this is what was inside it so everything from the venue, flowers, photographer, cake and what I love most about it is it comes with little stickers um, so you can write you can stick the stickers wherever you want in the file and write what you want. So I've got extras, music, flowers, photography, 
um, makeup here, venue, cake. So yeah, and there's also some blank stickers as well so you can write your own thing on there. And then you can just organize it in the separate slots. Um, so yeah, it's just really, really made my life easy. And I've got a lot of the stuff from this range. So I've got the seating plan, which I've shown before. Um, and it all kind of like corresponds with each other, the pattern. Um, and it also matches my amazing wedding planner, which I use constantly. So I've got the whole collection near enough. There is other things such as like a wall planner, which is really cool. But this is just so handy to store all your wedding important stuff. I've even got my notebook in here, which um, I drop down when I go to all the suppliers. And if I want to take notes down, this is my little notebook for that. Um, but yeah, it holds so much as you can see like all of this it's just it's brilliant so i'll leave a link down below for them two bits next i got this from the range it's basically an a4 photo frame um i love the detail on it it's got kind of like a shabby chic vintage frame to it here and it's white as well which i wanted this is for the fingerprint tree i think i showed it in my first ever haul video um, but it's an A4 fingerprint tree where the guests can put their fingerprint and sign it. So I needed a frame to put that in. Um, I'm going to take the glass out of it so they can actually use the fingerprint thing. Um, but afterwards I'm going to display it in the house. And it's just basically you can either hook it on the wall or you can actually stand it up on something. So yeah, that was so cheap. I think it was 4 or £5 pounds from the range. Um, yeah, just really basic, but what we needed. So I'm going to get on to gifts. I haven't really organised. Everything's just kind of laid out in front of me and I'm just grabbing things. Um, but I'm going to get on to gifts. So the first thing is for one of my bridesmaids and she's only 10. So for the older bridesmaids, I got obviously things to suit them. Um, and some of the stuff I couldn't really give to the 10 year old. So I saw this little set in Asda. And she's really into like jewellery and being a girly girl. So I thought this was so cute. Um, I've got her a few other things as well to go with it. But it's just this beautiful little um, necklace and earring set. As you can see there. So it's on a silver chain. And it's got heart stud earrings and a heart necklace. I hope you can see that. And it comes in a little box as well. So I just thought that was something extra. And it's, you know, suitable for her and age as well so love that that was only eight pounds from as so you can't really go wrong with that and to go with that i also got the 10 year old bridesmaid as well as the flower girls because i absolutely love these bracelets and i got them for the older bridesmaids and i just i was really struggling with what to get the little ones and um, something i wanted something as a keepsake and something really special so i went ahead and we got three more bra uh, bracelets and they're exactly the same as the ones i showed before this is leah's which is the 10 year old so they come in this beautiful box here if you can see there and you can tie it into a bow and it also come with a gift bag so this is leah's one and it's just like a pink rope bracelet and a heart charm as well that says her name on it and then on the other side of the heart it's got bridesmaid and our wedding day i'll do close up so you can see but they're exactly the same as the other ones and i thought they can all be matching they can even wear them on the day if they wanted and um, but it's just so special and yeah the brand is mercy mamam i think i can never pronounce that but it's a french brand and they have all different types of um jewelry for gifts basically so I absolutely adore that and then these are the little flower girl ones which I hope they're gonna love so this is Ellie's one and I know she's gonna love this because she is so into like dressing up and stuff at the moment so that's Ellie's I don't know if it's focusing why doesn't it focus there it is and then the wedding day and it's this one's got flower girl on it So yeah, I love that. And then lastly, the other little flower girl, my little niece, Dulcie. Okay, 
Okay, next is the Usher's gifts, and I hope none of the Usher's or bridesmaids are watching this, so if you are watching this video, please switch off, because I don't want, obviously, to ruin the surprise. Um, but yeah, I kind of explained in my last video what we're doing for the Usher's. We have around seven Usher's, which is quite a lot, um, but that's just what we've gone with. And I really wanted to do the hip flasks, because I think... They're kind of manly and cool. So um, this is what they look like. We got these off eBay. Um, we got a really good deal on them. I think they were £6 each. Um, so obviously if you've only got a few ushers, it doesn't work out too expensive. Uh, but this is what they look like. They're a really good size as well. I can't remember the ounce. I think they're 5 ounce. I can't really remember. But I'll leave a link down below. Um, and they're personalised. So it's a silver kind of stainless steel flask. And it says Usher, Michael, and our wedding dates. It's probably back to front for you guys. Um, and then to go with that, they're going to have a little Jack Daniels and a little tag. So there's going to be a little personalised tag um, with these two saying, um, I can't remember what it says, take a shot for the new newlyweds or something like that. But I have ordered the tags, they should be coming this week, so I'll show them in the next haul. But yeah, this is their little gifts, with a little gift tag and a little gift bag as well, but I just thought they're gonna love them. Thinking of putting a cigar with the um, hip flask as well. Um, I've seen it on Pinterest, and when we went to Cuba on the Thompson cruise, Paul, back, Paul bought some cigars back from Cuba bar for like his family but we've still got loads left obviously we don't smoke cigars so i thought it'd be kind of cool to put it with the men's gifts so we might do that i'm not too sure yet still have to order um cards like thank you cards gift bags and um, i've got order a few stuff which i'll talk about at the end of the video so there will be some more hauls coming up it's for the best man um, I think we're going to get him something else, but he really loves pens, and we got him a Parker pen. We actually got this off eBay, and it is just a normal standard Parker pen, and it has Best Man on, like, engraved on it. I don't think you can see there, because it's, like, really small writing. Um, it's got Best Man written on it, and we're still going to get him something else, uh, but that's just, like, a little personalised gift for him. For the flower girls I'm doing um, a gift bag with just all their little stuff in. So these are from a company called Paisley and P. I'll leave a link down below. They do such gorgeous unique um, gifts for children. It hasn't got to be for flower girls it could be a birthday girl or something. Really cute cards and packaging as well. So this is the little box that comes in and it's got this mint green um, ribbon on it. So I'm not going to open this one. This one's already open, so I'm going to open this one. They're exactly the same. Obviously, we've got two flower girls, so we've got two. Um, but these are just so adorable. So first of all, it's got this really cute um, white wrapping paper with gold flecks on it. You can see there, it's all like sparkly. And then inside, it comes with a little gold star wand, which looks like this. So it comes with a little wand and then it also comes with a little gift tag it says thank you for being our flower girl ellie with a little flower on it which is just adorable a little card as well so this is the front of the card how cute is this it's got a little kind of like fairy princess with a tutu and then you can write your own little message on there so that is everything in this little cute box and I just thought it was so special and perfect for them. In my last video I um, I think I mentioned these wine bottles but I didn't actually show the labels in the video. I'm not sure why, I think I forgot. Um, but we actually put them on the wine bottles. So this is just a bottle of Blossom Hill. Blossom Hill White Wine. I took off the label that was originally on it and got these personalised ones. So it says, Thank you, Kira, Maid of Honour, for the wedding of Paul and Katie. Thank you for sharing our special day with love from us both and our wedding date. And I just thought that was really nice to go in the older bridesmaids' gift bags. Um, just a lovely little keepsake. Or they can drink it. <laughs> 
So that is what it looks like and it's kind of like a silvery grey with pink. Um, again, they were off eBay, so cheap, really easy to do as well. And this is Tony's, which is my sister-in-law. That's her one. For Leah, which is the 10-year-old bridesmaid, I got her something else. She can have this um, as like a little keepsake afterwards. And it's from a company called The Wedding Mall. And I've got a few things from them, which I'm going to show you next. And I absolutely love this. I think she's going to love it too. And it says, this is my day as a bridesmaid. And it's kind of like a little book. So it's my, it says, my name is, the date, and the wedding is to be held at. So she can fill it in. This is a photograph of me in my dress. So she can stick a little photo after the wedding. And she can look back when she's older and remember the day. And um, then it's got, this is a photo of the bride and groom. It's just so fun. I'd love this. This is a photograph of some flowers. This is a photograph of my family at the wedding. So yeah, I know she's going to absolutely love this and have fun with filling this in. And she can also like show her school friends as well um, after the wedding, which is going to be really cool. So from the wedding mall, I was after a bird cage. I'll spin it around to the actual... There we go. I've always wanted a bird cage for um, when everyone puts the cards and gifts on the gift table. I wanted somewhere to put the cards. And a lot of people have post boxes, which I really like. But I just think the bird cage is more me and it kind of fits in with the wedding theme, like more shabby chic. And um, so this is the perfect size that I was after. I didn't want anything too big and I didn't want anything too small. So it's kind of like the in-between size. And it's this lovely cream shabby chic bird cage. You can actually um, hook it to something as well. And you just open it up. And obviously they can put the cards inside there. Or they can just slot the cards through here as well, which I really like. So we're just going to stick some like artificial flowers or um, something on it to jazz it up a bit. Um, but I just love it and it's going to keep all the cars together and safe. Um, and yeah, it's just perfect size. I don't know if you can see there, but it's so much bigger in person. It's massive. There we go. You can probably see how big it is now. But yeah, we're just going to stick a few things on it to make it a bit more um, wedding-y, if that's the word. Yeah, love this, and it was a really reasonable price as well for the size of it. So I'll leave a link down below. So from the wedding mall, I got two packs of photo booth props, and you're going to see a bit of a theme in this video of props. I'm obsessed with them. I don't know why, but I'm just kind of in the mood and obsessed with them at the moment. So, and they kindly sent me some kind of like more girly photo props which I used for my hen do which was the best night ever honestly it was such a good night with my friends and family and um, yeah I took one pack along with me on my hen do and I'm so glad I did all the girls absolutely loved it we took so many photos of like us posing with them as well so I will insert some clips and footage if I have got some footage of us with the props they were so girly they were kind of like baby pink uh, themed some of them said team bride some of them said team groom okay so they're kind of like pink and gold themed which is very me and um, as you can see this one says team bride with like gold foil writing and team groom they've been sitting in the bag since the hen do so they were very very well used and then as you can see like little champagne bottles like selfie a little microphone Comes with things like this, like little glasses. Little speech one, it's like, it's like a speech bubble, but it's a chalkboard, so you can write your own message on it. Um, so I'm definitely going to be reusing these for the wedding. You like lips, so this one's like a gold lip. Love them. Oh, um, the prop that was in like the first pack. I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to buy them and see them actually in the packet. And then I also got this one, which is the Snap Happy Wedding Photo Booth. And this one is more kind of wedding themed. Um, so it's got um, a moustache, glasses, hat, like a little um, mask, teeth, bouquet, bow tie, um, a veil. And it, you can also use this silver frame here. Um, so you can hold the frame up and pose with it as well. So 
love this we're gonna have so much fun um when it comes to the evening with this and i'm gonna put these with the photo booth but you can also use them throughout like the day as well um and so that is everything that you get with it so you also get these um like little what did you say they are little signs so you've got mr and mrs kiss me i'm next gorgeous best dancer and smile so great little pack here for the wedding this is all from the wedding mall which um i'll leave a link down below they have so many wedding things to choose from they have a few sites but the wedding mall is one of my favorite next i got these from home bargains and they're just tea lights candle holders our color scheme is pink and like white or ivory and i just got these because they were so cheap and even if i don't use them it's not the end of the world uh, but i thought if some of the tables are a bit bare and they need something on them or like the cake table or the guest book table i can just scatter a few of these around with a little tea light in it and um they're kind of like speckled glass so um when you light the candle it kind of like shines through but it's this beautiful pink color um so yeah i just got how many is there one two three four five five there uh, it's a company called Malcolm and Gerald and they kindly sent me some t-shirts which I am so so excited about wearing and because it's only 34 days I can actually start wearing these really really soon so it makes me so excited they've been in the packet because obviously I don't want to get them ruined but I absolutely love the packaging it's in this kind of cylinder and um, this is their logo there they also have a Facebook page which I will link um, but they basically print t-shirts and they kindly sent one to Ellie as well with her name in a gold glittery heart and she'll be wearing that for the honeymoon which I'm so excited about. This is their little logo. And they are original 100% authentic as well. And first of all, the quality, they are so, so soft and so comfy. This one here is in this beautiful kind of like grey colour, dark grey, which is one of my favourite colours to wear. And it's a v-neck t-shirt and it has wifey on it, if you can see there, in black writing. So it's got wifey, it's probably back to front for you guys. But I will be wearing this on the honeymoon or maybe the day after we get married when we have breakfast. Um, with all the guests I'll probably be wearing this with some leggings or something um, and then on the back it's got Mrs Warrior which will be obviously my married name so love this it's so soft you can have pretty much anything you want written on it or they do actually sell wifey t-shirts and I'm thinking of getting the poor hubby one as well so we can be kind of matching so that is the first top And then, this is a top that I'll be wearing kind of on the wedding week or when I get ready in the morning. It's exactly the same, so it's a white v-neck t-shirt and this one says bride and I love the font of this, it's so cute. So this one says bride, I thought this would be really good for when you're getting ready and doing wedding stuff. And then on the back, it's got our wedding date on it as well. So cool. I'd wear this after the wedding as well. Tilly. And then the final one is exactly the same, but it has bridesmaid on it. And I'm going to get one more of these for the other older bridesmaid. Just to kind of lounge around and get ready in or they can wear it the night before or whenever really. So this one has bridesmaid, whoopsie daisy. This one has bridesmaid on it. Flip the tag up. So obviously I need to give them an iron before the wedding. And again it has the wedding date on the back. And if you'd like to see the one Ellie got, it is in her new 
a summer clothing haul I think I think it's called that um, but that is so gorgeous and I can't wait for her to wear that she wants to wear it like already but I'm trying to save for holiday like I said I've got a massive um, obsession with photo booth props um, and I wanted to get some more because during the sit down meal which is called the wedding breakfast I wanted to have um, pots on each table with a few of these kind of like mix and match them so there's, I'm gonna, I still have to get the pots. I'm hoping to get these this weekend. And I'm hoping to get these pots. I've currently got my makeup brushes in. These are from Ikea and I love them. They're kind of still kind of shabby chic and very, very girly and cute. So I'm hoping to get some more of these from Ikea. And then inside them, I'm going to mix and match and put different um, photo booth props. So some of them will be for the top table, um, like these two his and hers and then we've got literally a bunch in here so we've got like glasses ties lips moustaches there is so many in here um, and at the moment I've just stored them in here because I don't want to get them ruined and Ellie will probably start playing about with them um, but these will be going in separate pots um, these are the bigger ones which I've kept in the glass but these have got hats and little Minnie Mouse ears um, yeah there's just a ton here as well as the other ones so these are going to be kind of these were a lot cheaper these were on ebay i think they were only three or four pounds and you have to stick the sticks on themselves um which to be honest it literally took us 10 minutes to do it comes with little glue stickers and you stick the bamboo sticks to them so it really didn't take long and it's cheaper to buy them without the sticks on um, and do it yourself so these were an absolute bargain. I will leave a link down below because I've got a lot of questions on Instagram on where we got these from. Um, so yeah, these are going to be for the sit down meal. I still need to get thank you cards, um, but because we've got so many ushers, I thought I was just I'm just going to get these for the ushers because it works out so expensive. Um, because obviously we've got seven ushers. So for the mums and dads and the bridesmaids, I'm going to get kind of special cards, but for the ushers they're probably not even bothered like my brothers would not be bothered about a card so I saw these they're a pack of 10 cards with envelopes and I actually quite like them they're quite manly and I think they they will suit him so it just says thank you thank you very very much and you put to and from and you can also write like a message on the back as well um so yeah I just thought it works out so much cheaper so these were three pound um, whereas it would have cost £3 each for a personalised thank you card for the ushers. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with them. And then I'm going to get the special ones. I still need to order them. Our wedding rings uh, from Ernest Jones. I'm actually going to show them. And you're going to see them on the day in photos and stuff. This is Paul's one. He actually changed the first one he had. Um, was just kind of like a shiny band. But it looked really, really weird on Paul and he hated it. He didn't feel comfortable with it. And I was like, well, you've got to wear it for the rest of your life. So I want you to get a ring that you like. Um, I think it's because he's not used to, he doesn't wear any jewellery. So he's just not used to it. So he decided to go with this one in the end. And it's more of a matte finish. So it's kind of got a shiny, shiny band, but it's also matte. Don't know if you can see there you'll see it in photos but he um prefers this much more he's still kind of getting used to it but um yeah that is his ring and then my ring is pretty simple um i wanted quite a thin band because i've got such small hands um i need to be get, i need to get my nails done as well so but yeah my one is kind of a thin band with um like little diamonds going around it it's so hard to show because it's not focusing but i'll do close-ups of them and um, but yeah i really like my one and it goes really well with my engagement ring as well so there are wedding rings my bridesmaids my sister-in-law is wearing this to go with her dress the earrings and they go so lovely with the um dress i wasn't sure at first um but they really really suit the dress so these are the earrings they're just kind of pearl stud earrings with um, kind of like diamonds around the edge. 
There's the other one there. And they're just really dainty and nothing too over the top. And then the necklace is exactly the same um, and it sits perfect in the dress because the dress is kind of a v-neck um, so it sits perfect with the dress. But that is her little jewellery set. I'm going to move on to the flower girl stuff. Um, I've got a few dresses to show you but I'm not going to show all of them because I want to keep some stuff as a surprise. These are the flower girl shoes and um, they were from Debenhams. She actually wore these for um, the wedding we went to back in March um, and they were really comfortable. Ellie really got on with them really well. They didn't kind of hurt her feet or rub her feet. Um, they're very comfortable. They stayed on her the whole day because of the straps. They're just kind of plain satin pumps um, with a little bow. They were literally, I think they were 12 or 14 pounds. And I liked them because they've got the strap on them so they're going to stay on. And yeah, these are... I think these are, yeah, these are Ellie's ones. She's actually size six now, which is crazy. She was a size five back in March when she wore these shoes. So yeah, they're her little shoes. And same with the other flower girl, they've got the same shoes. So they're their shoes. I got these for the flower girls and I'm really not bothered if they don't end up wearing them on the day because I know what toddlers are like. Um, but Ellie has been really into dressing up at the moment. She loves dresses, um, hair accessories, jewellery, which I never thought would happen because she was the complete opposite a few months ago. Um, so she absolutely loves her dress, which I'll show you in a minute, but she absolutely adores it. She wants to wear it every day and I'm like, no, you can't, you can't wear it, wear it. So I have to put her in other dresses. But I got this again from Debenhams and I really like it. It's by John Rusher. It's got a kind of a satin ivory headband and it's got little flowers at the side hope you can see that um, and it also comes with two clips she'll probably end up just wearing the one clip um, because her hair is quite curly at the moment <coughs> with regards to Ellie's hair I'm just going to have it down and curly uh, because I love her little curls but I think it would be nice to um, pin up a bit of her hair because it, it does get in her face quite a lot so even if she just wears one of these and she can just use the others for dressing up, <coughs> that's absolutely fine. But this was £8. So I got two of them, um, one for the other flower girl. But like I said, if they don't wear them, it's not a massive problem. Um, but she probably will end up wearing one of the clips. Paul suit has been sorted. He's actually hiring his suit. So he will get that the week of the wedding. Um, and then these are my wedding earrings which i love i love these so much it's by a company called oliver lundus london i hope i'm pronouncing that correct um this is the box so it's kind of like a designer but i thought they were really good like value for a designer pair of earrings and it's probably going to be really hard to show you i didn't want anything too big because i've got quite a small face and small head um, I will be having my hair down as well, so you probably won't even see them much. Um, but I just, these are just perfect. I love them so much. There we go, you can probably see them. But I love them, they're really sparkly as well. They really catch the um, light. And I just thought with my hair down, you'll probably be able to see like a little bit peeking through. Um, I think they were 30, 35 pounds um, for a decent pair of earrings. And I'm pretty sure they are like, real silver I'm not too sure um, but yeah I really love my earrings still need to get my bracelet and um, like hair piece I don't know what to do with my hair I don't want a tiara I'm wearing a veil but I still want something in my hair so I might get um, like a headband um, that kind of goes with the earrings but I don't want to actually wear a tiara let me know what you think I should wear on my hair i don't want anything too big and too like blingy because i will be having a veil but i just think i will need something in my hair